Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be an energy check-in love reading for my dearest Capricorns. Capricorn, we're going to take a look at the person most on your mind or your current situation. And if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's go ahead and get started. Ooh, let's see what clear messages and guidance come through for my dearest Capricorns for their highest and greatest good. Clear messages and guidance for my Capricorns, please, for their highest and greatest good. All right, we've got the Magician in reverse. Your person showing up as the tower, so they're probably planning some sort of surprise. All right, they're viewing you as the High Priestess in reverse. This person can't wait to see you. Four of Cups, excuse me, in reverse. And the Two of Wands, so you've got a big decision to make. Somebody here is going to shock you with some sort of emotional outpouring or proposal. And we've got the Justice card. It could be a Libra, or it could be somebody that wants to make it up to you. For some of you as well, it could be a marriage proposal. I'm just throwing it out there because it did come through. Um, but it may not be for all of you. So the Magician card energy in reverse tells me you have somebody who's a bit of a trickster. They might be planning something behind your back. Um, again, for some of you, it is going to be a proposal. Um, but let's see. Magician energy is Virgo, Gemini. They might not be talking. They might not be taking action right now. They certainly could be a secret admirer. Yep, High Priestess energy and the Hierophant energy in reverse. It could be that this person told you that they never wanted to be in a relationship, they never wanted to be married, but I do feel like they're gonna shock you here for some of you. It just, I can't seem to move away from that message. Um, but for others of you, this is a secret admirer, somebody who's a different race, religion, or tradition, or they just have a different background than you. Um, I, feel like, I feel like it's gonna be quite an unexpected connection or coming together. Um, could be Pisces, Taurus, all right, we've got Aries and Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer coming through really strong as well, Libra, Gemini, Virgo, all right, let's see, your person is going to shock you, Tower Moment, or you know what, I feel Capricorn, um, and I hope I, have, I haven't called you Pisces or anything like that, because I was just really all this Pisces energy here in front of me. But um, I know I'm in the Capricorn reading, so I, I don't think I have called you anything else, but we'll see. Um, tower energy. Um, this person is planning a surprise. I also feel Capricorn, you've taken them by surprise. Queen of Wands in reverse and the King of Cups. See, I think this person is going to surprise you because I think they're a bit of a player or they gave off that vibe. And I don't know if you've played the player here or you've just, you know, taken their heart Capricorn. But this is somebody who maybe just said they never wanted to settle down. Um, and maybe they were really, really, you know, hell bent on never settling down because the Queen of Wands in reverse and the King of Cups is like, I'm definitely not going to, you know, I'm not committing. Um, you know, they don't want anything kind of serious, but I feel like with the high priestess energy in reverse, you've made them see things differently. They're like, they can't wait to see you. It's like this person might want to ask you out on a date if they're a secret admirer. Um, and it might kind of take you by surprise because you're kind of like, I didn't think you did that. You know, this could be also like a friend or a coworker who kind of talks about their conquests with you, but they're really in love with you. Okay. So like, just bear that in mind. And of course, that's not going to be for all of you. Not all of you is this person promiscuous or a player or anything like that. But with the high priestess here, I'm seeing that this person definitely has secret feelings for you. Um, I also hear like they can't wait to see you. And with the three of pentacles, a lot of you, you work together. Some of you, it's behind some sort of counter. Um, but you know, like a, you know, like a, I don't know if it's like a deli counter, like a fish counter, if it's a, you know, behind a makeup, you know, it could be anything, right? It's just, they showed me sort of more like a department store, grocery store energy. And again, not for all of you. Um, but with the three of pentacles, this person is seeing you as somebody they want to build with somebody who's really compatible. They're seeing you as somebody they don't want to let go. They, they're not going to hold back anymore. And this person has been putting on a front. I'm telling you, like they've been acting hard or they've been acting really stoic or acting like they don't care. They don't want relationships. They're not interested. They are. I don't know what you've done to this person. Four of cups. They want to date. They want to, you know, for some of you, like I said, coworker, a friend that wants to be more, um, expect some sort of surprise, uh, a 
surprise proposal. My goodness, I don't know why I can't speak. And the justice card in reverse. Yeah, see this person acts like aloof. This person acts detached, superficial. Um, and, and maybe even like they care a lot what other people think. And I don't know what that would mean or how that would translate into your relationship, but it's like they don't care. They don't care what other people think. They're coming in to surprise you with some sort of proposal. They might need to make something up to you or feel like they do. Yep, five of cups. For a lot of you, it might be an apology. Or maybe, you know, maybe they were harsh with you and they didn't mean to be. Um, or something along those lines. So you've got a really big decision here with the two of wands, Capricorn. And the six of wands, there might be some challenges here. All right, some of my Capricorns, you may be rejecting this person. Um, but we're also seeing a we're we're seeing. We're seeing here the Eight of Wands with the Six of Wands and the Two of Wands here. So uh, some of you, you've been manifesting this and it's going to show up and it's going to shock you. And it might be a little bit of internal conflict about like what to do, what should I do here? Now, some of my Capricorns, you know, you may be breaking this person's heart with the Three of Swords. For others of you, this is somebody who's coming back around. They're seeing you as perfect. They want to make it up to you. Um, but there may be, you, maybe you know too much about each other already. If, again, if this is somebody that you like, you see their behavior and maybe, I don't know if they friend zoned you or something like that, or you just know more about them than you would like to. Um, you might've changed your opinion on this person. Um, I do think they're hiding secret feelings though. And I do also feel like you're going to make a decision here. Some of my Capricorns, if you have a lot of other options right now, you might be breaking someone's heart. Okay, if you decide to go with this person, oh, let's see what Spirit's advice is for you. I'm getting so many storylines coming through there. All right, so we also have Leo and Taurus energy coming through really strong. This Libran energy is very, very strong as well. Clear messages and guidance for my Capricorns. In alignment. So everything is aligning perfectly in your life. What didn't make sense in the past will now start to fall into place. Oh, Okay, very nice. And shine your beauty. Let others do and say what they will. Keep doing good. Resist the temptation to dim your light to become as dark as those that oppose you. So again, some people might not be so happy about this connection coming together. Okay, but Spirit's saying don't care what other people think. I feel this person coming towards you. They don't. They don't care what others think. Um, and your great fulfillment in life will come when you discover your unique gifts Develop and fine-tune your gifts so you may share them with the world. Yeah, so just remembering this person, I feel, is really seeing your unique gifts. I, I think there's something really beautiful here, to be honest, Capricorn. And I think there might be some challenges. There might be some opposition to this connection for whatever reason. I mean, it could just be like unhappy friends or family members around you that are projecting. Um, it could be jealousy. It could be other options. But... We see rising crescent. It's time to set a new goal or dream a new dream. You don't have to leave your comfort zone. Just expand it. Yeah, and for some of you, this person is already in your comfort zone. Like I feel like a lot of you, you already know quite a lot about this person. Like they're a friend or a coworker, somebody who might confide in you. The connection really might be expanding. It might be, it might, I think you've changed this person. Like they want to be with you. I'm almost seeing too, they can't wait to see you next um, and tell you how they feel. It's almost like they've discovered these really deep feelings for you. And I, I feel like you will be conflicted, Capricorn. You will be conflicted either because of history you have with this person or because of what you already know about them. Okay. And so we do see this person is planning something. Um, they're really stressed about it. So for some of you, it's a proposal. Okay. And we get this person lied to you. So there is something here that they need to apologize for, or they need to set straight. But for some of you, I get that, you know, they may have told you, you know, I don't believe in marriage or, you know, I'm not ready to be married or something like that, but they're secretly planning something for others of you. Again, this person, they, I do feel like they were sneaky, but I feel they want to make it right with you. And, and like I said, some of my Capricorns, it, it, it just might not be good enough. All right. And you may be breaking this person's heart, but I do think you're going to be pulled in two different directions. And for others of you, you know, this person is going to set the record straight and we get retreat. So just take your time to make a decision here about how you feel. Cause I do feel it may be a little bit overwhelming. Um, 
yeah, that's kind of what I'm getting. So let's see. But for others of you, they lied to you because they were being sneaky. Like they told you they couldn't come over. They told you they were going away. And they're really planning some sort of surprise for you because I keep getting this gift. For some of you, they have a gift for you. And it might come in a little bow, might come in a little box, might not. All right, let's see. Really interesting messages coming through. So someone is secretly yearning for you. So definitely those secret admirer vibes. And for others of you, this person just might be asking you out, but they might've just really been acting like, you know, like they're a player or they don't care or they don't want a relationship. An addiction is affecting this relationship. Okay. For some of you and an external party is intruding on this relationship. So for some of you, again, if this is somebody who's like a friend or a coworker around you, you know, they might be a bit of a, you know, they might come off as an F boy or an F girl, or maybe they have like some sort of toxic relationship that they've had a hard time breaking away from. But it's like, and, and some of my Capricorns, like I said, you might know too much about this person. It might have changed how you feel or whether or not you want to get involved with them. But I, I feel like what you don't know is how in love they are with you. Okay, that's a very specific message. Um, but whoever this person is, whatever it is that they're dealing with, there has been some interference. And again, some of my Capricorns, you have other options. So you're being told to retreat, weigh your options very carefully. You know, whether or not you want to get involved with this person. Can you forgive them? Is it something you want? Is it in alignment with you? They do need to make something up to you. Okay. And I don't know what that is. So you guys know if that's something you're going to accept or it's acceptable or not. Um, but we definitely have somebody here who feels remorse for the way they treated you or remorse for not telling you how they really felt. And they're, they're stressing. Okay, Capricorn. So I'm going to leave it here. You guys know your stories. Trust your intuition, you know, and make the best choices for you and yours. All right, Capricorn, I'm going to leave it there. If these messages do resonate, don't forget to hit that like button, share, subscribe. Check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. All right, love and light, Capricorns. Take care.